talking with the Hofstra softball head coach, Larissa Anderson. And coach, it's the start of the spring season, the first couple of days of practice. Uh, just tell us how everything's been going so far. Things have gone really well. They uh, they did a tremendous amount over winter break. I can tell immediately as, as soon as the we had our first report date, they look healthy, they look strong, and they're ready to get to work. Uh, obviously looking at the practice schedule, pretty intense days. Just what are you looking for in the first couple of weeks of preseason? It's really putting everything together. Um, you can't forget what you did in the fall, and it's really taking your team to that next level. Um, I'm looking to see if we can solidify some players in certain positions. You know, in the fall, I, we have a lot of players that play multiple positions, very versatile, and it's kind of getting them to zone in into one position and, and really excel that they're, they're able to play and bear down defensively. It's always such a compact preseason, so just what's the, what are some of the challenges to getting everything you want done before the season starts? You know what's great is that we're not in classes yet, so we started last Saturday and we're able to, you know, it's like no school, no rules, that, you know, we're doing unlimited, we're practicing anywhere from six to eight or nine hours a day, um, giving them breaks for meals and doing a lot of recovery and stuff like that, so, but we're able to get a lot in, in you know, very, in a, in a week pretty much, and then once classes start, uh, you're in a different type of schedule. So right now, it's almost like we're a professional athlete. You know, they, they get to the ballpark early. You know, we, we get a lot of work done. We're able to really implement a lot, um, not being on that clock. And then when classes start, we can kind of fine-tune and, and sit back a little bit more and relax. Starting the season with three tournaments, just, um, you know, obviously it's a lot of games in a short amount of time. So to have a schedule like this where you have to be used to playing a, a lot of hours and getting a lot of things done, just how good is that for the preparation to start the season? It is. And, and physically, we know we can always do it. Um, I mean, we're in unbelievable shape. It's more mental. You know, when you have first game of the tournament and last game of the tournament, you might be at the ball field for 12 hours straight, um, you know, sitting underneath a tree or in the shade or something like that. But um, so mentally, you have to make sure that you can be able to perform at your highest level, um, you know, depending on whenever your games are. And creating this environment now is really setting ourselves up to be able to push through that adversity. And in order to deal with those challenges, you have a lot of veteran players coming back. So how important is that leadership of players who have been through those experiences before? It's been great. The, the veterans that we have right now and the depth that we have has been tremendous. Um, they, they've held everybody to a very high standard. And getting those first-year players to understand what it is to play Hofstra softball has really set the tone. Um, we, we're young on the mound, and we're inexperienced on the mound. But being surrounded by such great experience and leadership um, and experience all the way through has really helped those younger players. I know it's early, but any surprises or anything that really excites you so far from what you've seen? You know, a part in, in our first meeting that we had in the beginning of the year, I said to the team that I want to be wowed every day. Every day I come to practice, I want someone to wow me, an individual or the team. And every single day they've been focused in trying to get better. Um, so I would say the whole team has wowed me and how they came back really prepared. Um, there hasn't been a weak link. And it's just very nice to see that mentally they've been focused. And, and like I said earlier, practicing for six, eight hours a day, it's very easy to lose focus. And our game is so unique. And there's so much downtime that you can't lose focus for one second. And just that they're able to stay, you know, in the moment and playing pitch by pitch has been real remarkable. And just talk about keeping that focus because it's tough when you're not, when you can't even practice outside because of the weather. So to practice indoors constantly and keep that focus, just what, how is that a testament to this team's character? You know, we, we always say it's just a ground ball. It doesn't matter if the ground ball is in a gym floor, in our bubble, on Pride Rock, you know, in the Bill Edwards Stadium or down in Florida or, or in a regional or super regional. It's still a ground ball. The ground ball doesn't know where it's being hit. Um, so we just have to make sure that we take care of, of what we can control, um, stay fundamentally perfect, which has always been our philosophy. Um, we never want to lose a game because of poor fundamentals, so we always make sure that we're fundamentally perfect and that we just stay in that moment and play one pitch at a time. All right, Coach. Well, thank you very much for the time. My pleasure. Thank you.